This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be checking out Behem. We already know that this deck has uh, capabilities to actually succeed in a lot of matchups. We saw that at the World Championships as well. So Behem has the Mysterious Noise, being able to smack 90 damage and then having an item lock for the opponent. So if you use that attack, uh, Behem and all cards attached to it shuffle back into the deck so we can actually save our triple accelerated energies. There's four of them in there so we draw into them uh, quite easily. We have of course a, a tick chinchino line a tree tree line of chinchino to use the make do ability to draw us uh, a lot of cards so uh, that means we uh, draw into our uh, little l gems draw into our triple accelerated engines and uh, more, most importantly in the early phase of the game we draw into our elms lecture we also have poke gear to find elms lecture more easily and then we have a whole heap of cards that the opponent will not like first of all Lily's Pokedoll, nobody likes this card. Uh, if they're up against this, uh, they will have to strike into it. And uh, meaning, uh, if they're in an item lock, they cannot rely on Custom Catcher. Pokemon Catcher and Great Catcher. So all of these cards become irrelevant. Definitely this is a great deck before of course Boss's Orders gets released from the upcoming uh, set a Rebel Clash. Definitely check out that top 20 video I did about the top cards of that particular set. This is a, a great de deck to just uh, try out on the Versus ladder. We have a whole a lot of cards that the opponent doesn't like. We have uh, Alolan Persian GX. This is a card that uh, can actually uh, prevent damage done to it by Tag Team GXs, Ultra Beasts and opponents that have special energies attached to them so a very insane card uh, that means this card will be uh, invincible against a lot of matchups definitely thinking about baby blacephalon for instance also against tag team heavy decks like mewtwo uh, mewtwo and mew tag team jack so that's gonna be nice to try out also we have gumi uh, this means that the opponent's active pokemon will need one card's energy more to use their attacks this is great in the mirror match uh, against uh, decks that also rely on triple accelerated energy but also on those decks like uh, let's say giratina they have three energies on the active giratina and they need one more and if they don't draw into your, their Viridian Forest or another energy they will have to pass which is fantastic. We are, are gonna rely on three air balloons this time around so no U-turn boards. The air balloons will help out because uh, Alolan Persian has a two retreat cost and all the rest does have only one retreat cost but we also have Mr. Mime GX. This is the one from uh, Celestial Storm and uh, this is actually the one with the even numbers. That means that if the opponent smacks an amount of damage and it is even that means that uh, we prevent all damage, uh, so that is actually fantastic against things like, for instance, uh, yeah, Zacian ADP. Zacian ADP will most likely lose Ultra Creation Jacks, and then all of their attacks, think about it, become even. Uh, it could change with, of course, the Vitality Band, but not every uh, list runs that, which helps us out in the long run. That means if they just use Brave Blade with the added addition of uh, Ultra Creation Jacks, they smack 260 damage. That means zero damage done to this Mr. Mime. Uh, maybe they use uh, Ultimate Ray, uh, 180 damage after Ultra Creation. We just try to surprise the opponent, not benching Mr. Mime, until the opponent uses. Ultra creation, and then they're screwed. Uh, also, we have a little Nine Tails here, which is immune by damage from GXs, so that's gonna also help us out. Definitely against things like Picaron, maybe Tapu Koko V is priced, and that will help us out in the long run. They could use Zapdos with an Electro Power, but not every Picaron list will run, of course, at Zapdos. And then Mew to protect our bench, of course, against uh, things like uh, the uh, Venom Shot and uh, the Tag Bolt GX. Okay, this is the list that we're gonna try out. There's one copy of Shrine here just to bump a Stadium card. You don't want Thunder Mountain being in play you don't want uh yeah other stadium cards uh, like of course the insane uh lysander labs you just want to overlap that so we can still rely on our air balloons so you're not stuck in the active position that's why there's one stadium card in here and trying to just nice with the numbers i know it hurts our alolan persian as well but uh most of the time people will just overlap it you'll see that uh, for supporters, Alves Lecture, then for research, we do have one ordinary rod to save ourselves some puzzle pieces because there's a lot of one offs. There's a 1 1 Ninetales line, there's a 1 1 Persian line, although we can still rely on the good old Ditto to evolve into every stage one we have in our deck. We only have four energies, and uh, that should last us through the game because, as mentioned before, uh, after using Mysterious Noise, every energy gets shuffled back in together with the Algium. So we'll see how this deck fares, and uh, I already. Um, such a huge fan of item lock. We already uh, seen it before with uh, Amastar. Uh, the Amastar is also a, a nice way. I think the one from Team Up. 
that uh, blocks the opponent from playing uh, item cards this time around. We're probably up against Picaram. Picaram, that means we have lots of ways we can go for it. We can go for Alolan Persian, we can go for... Yeah, we're gonna go first. We do have Quick Balls and uh, Treasures in our list, so that should be fine. Okay, look at this. We have an Elgem. A communication. I think I'm gonna go for a Ditto immediately. Ditto is the perfect star in this list because uh, it can actually evolve into anything. We have a Tate and Liza to follow up with that, so it's actually not as bad as it seems. So, communication, getting the Behem back in the deck, finding ourselves, hopefully, Ditto if it's not prized. Uh, yeah, Ditto is prized. What do you know? We're just gonna get out of Vulpix so we can get that Ninetales up and rolling, which is immune from damage. Uh, although, I would also love a Mancino here. Oh uh, well, I think I'm just gonna go for Vulpix, playing it safely and just hope that the opponent has uh, one of his cards, crucial cards, prized. We're not gonna smack down Shrine, we're gonna wait until Thunder Mountain pops up. We'll see if the opponent is able to get first turn full bliss. I cannot promise you guys that we win, but we're trying out a whole lot of decks that you haven't seen before. Uh, because, yeah, we are, of course, still in quarantine uh, thanks to the coronavirus madness. Hopefully, you guys are safe. So, uh, every day there's going to be a video. We already checked out Cinderace. We checked out uh, uh, even... What was the deck we checked out yesterday? Uh... <laughs> Let me just think, yeah, the stage twos and all that. So with the Nida Queen, we even checked out Stone Journer. So, oh, it's more Peko V. How cute is that? Oh, oh yeah, our Ninetales combo was irrelevant. I thought this was Picaron for sure. Oh yeah, we just got uh, Marnit, which is actually not bad. Hopefully we draw into an Alms Lecture, which will help us out in the long run. We have uh, a Research and even a Behem. This is not bad. Uh, this means we can immediately go for Mysterious Noise, smack down a... Uh, Play out our hand and go for the research. This actually, this Marnie helps out a ton. So I'm uh, very grateful for the opponent. Okay, Thunder Mountain. That's why we're playing that one copy of Shrine. So we can overlap that. We're gonna take the first prize card on this little, little dude. So uh, here comes uh, the good, bad Behem. So uh, it's a stage one, one prizer. We're gonna go into that doll and uh, we see how we go from there. So it's a bad that we have to throw away our ordinary rod, but it is what it is. Okay, we have another one of these. And I think I'm gonna smack down uh, Ch Mancino as well because I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, we need to have some draw power to draw into the triple accelerated energies. We only have four of them in the deck, so we smack 70 damage. That's perfect to knock out things like, uh, as mentioned, the Jirachi. They have resistance, but 90 is just enough. Resistance is only minus 20. We got a treasure, which means we can immediately search out. Uh, the good old uh, Behem once more. And the only thing we will need is to find triple accelerator energy. We can go for communication, finding ourselves a Chinchino, and uh, that should be fantastic here. Actually a very great hand. So the opponent helped us out a lot with that amazing Marnie. Okay, Lucky Egg onto a doll. The bad news is that we don't play any Gust, <laughs> so that will uh, be very scary. That means we just have to bump into dolls, and uh, the opponent has to do the exact same thing. And uh, we're one price ahead, and this guy is smacking out Thunder Mountain. Okay, that's good. We even have Chinchino right from the bat, so uh, we get this up. Also, this guy has to discard an energy, so I think that Gumi can actually help us out. But uh, we're gonna wait until... Uh, why not? We're just gonna go for treasure, get rid of uh, this card. Uh, we're gonna get a Behem up and rolling. Ta-ta! So Behem, you are ready. Next up, communication. Finding ourselves another Chinchino because we need some draw power here. It looks like there's one price. We only need two on the field anyhow. This Vulpix is irrelevant at this point, so we're just gonna smack this down. And look at that, another research for a whole heap of cards. Ta-ta! Yeah, <laughs> this could actually be interesting, but uh, he smacks irrelevant, uh, uneven damage, so we might as well evolve this while we're at it. Okay, at this point we have the energy, uh, so we can just safely go for Lily's Pokédoll, putting it on the bottom of the deck, and uh, go for Behem once more, putting him in an item lock. So he has not access to any of his trainer cards, smacking down a doll again. We don't need Alms Lecture, so this is a perfect material to, of course, go for the Make Do, so we can uh, get rid of this. Ta ta! Drawing some cards, we even had a reset stamp. Alolan Persian GX, also irrelevant, uh, although if he ha equips the uh, recycled energy, we could be seeing something better. So I'm not going to get rid of that just yet, just going to get rid of the Menchino. You know, he cannot access our bench anyhow, so that is fantastic in our case. And here is the Air Balloon, so at this point, if we're up against the GX, we promote a little Ninetales, which is fantastic with the Air Balloon, but for now, eh, yeah, might as well 
I want to save this. I don't know. He cannot play reset stamp anyhow. That's also the fantastic part. You don't have to play anything down. He could play Marnie. That's a bad thing. But he already played one Marnie. I don't think this list runs a bazillion Marnies. I'm just gonna promote Lily Spoke it all. We already have an Elgem on the bench. You always have to make sure that if you use Mysterious Noise, you have an Elgem on the bench so you can spam the attack. Okay. This guy can, of course, use Spark to snipe 20 damage, which could, in turn, uh, be relevant. So we might have to make some room for Mew, because Mew can protect the, the, the damage done to us on the bench. So maybe we should use that. Also, Tapu Koko V is being charged up, so Electro Wheel, he's just going for the KO, knocking out a doll, that's fine. At this point, I'm just gonna promote, yeah, our, our little Ninetales is something we don't want to uh, smack the doll, actually, the uh, Air Balloon on. So, what do we need? Here's Air Balloon. We can go for Cynthia first. Uh, we can also go for Research. Hmm, we do, yeah, Ordinary Rod is already in the discard pile, but we still have Ditto Prism Star. So at this point, I'm fine by using the Research, so we actually put him in an item lock e again immediately. Maybe Shrine can help us out as well, uh, to just get rid of that Thunder Mountain. Okay, we immediately have a doll. Always love to see that. Again, very nice. I think the, the best plan of action is going for Treasure. Getting rid of the Elm once again, finding ourselves mysterious uh, the uh, Behem. As soon as he uses the attack right there, I think I'm gonna change my strategy. So we have this, we have that. Don't need to use another research since we have two Make Do's, which is uh, very nice indeed. We have some more supporters left, so more dolls popping up. At this point, I uh, love everything that is in this uh, kind of a list. So I think just gonna go get rid of a uh, Air Balloon. Everything does have like a, weak, a low retreat cost, and we will retreat. Okay, just smacking down the doll again. Getting the triple accelerated energy. Retreat to the behemoth. Could also retreat it to uh, something like, uh, yeah, the Gumi. But I think it's fine just uh, using up all the dolls. There's gonna be damage all across the, the opponent's board, so 9 damage on that Tapu Koko. We're just gonna promote a Lily Spoke Doll. And we should be good. Okay, the opponent, how many dolls does he has left? He still has three dolls left at this point. Okay, spike draw. He draws two cards and he's still in an item lock, which is fantastic. So we can safely go for this strategy. Having Behem again. Getting the triple accelerated energy. At this point, I think, hmm. Do we, we're just gonna go for make do first. Gonna get rid of the pokey gear. Ta -ta, getting two cards. Wow, that is insane. That is insane. Okay, make do again. Getting rid of one behem. We don't need a whole heap because they shuffled themselves back in the deck. Okay, this is good. This is good indeed. So with an attach of the turn, we still don't have shrine, which is a bad thing about it. But we still have lots of dolls left. So let us poke it all. Promoting behem once more. And I don't think a little nine tails, or actually a little Persian GX, will help us out. So I'm actually gonna get rid of it. And we will find Elgin. So we always want to find Elgin. Next turn, I actually hope we can draw into something like the... Uh... Is the one shrine in the deck? I should have checked that. So here we go. Item locked again. Shuffle back. Oh, we didn't smack down the doll. Ooh. Yeah, we're just gonna promote. We still have uh, the air balloon. He can take a prize card with that. So we uh, save up some room on the bench. He's still item locked though. Yeah, he can take a prize card, that means we still have the doll for next turn. Yeah, I also want to clean up my uh, board position here. He could knock it out, okay. He's just gonna knock it out, that's fine. He's not going to attack with the Morpeko V, which is fine by us, so... Okay, this is not bad. This is not bad. The only thing we need is a triple accelerated energy. Okay, make do. Hopefully we find it. We uh, still have lots of cards uh, in the deck. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, wow, there they are. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. But we don't have an Elgem ready. Oh, this is not good news for us. Okay, make do. Do we get rid of an energy? Or do we get rid of the air balloon? I think one energy, we, it gets shuffled back anyhow. So let's use this. We have the shrine, that's fantastic. So we can shrine, triple accelerated energy. We retreat again. Hopefully we find a supporter. Okay, we have Tate and Liza. This is fantastic. We need to find an Elgin so we can keep uh, getting this guy in the item lock. Shuffle time. Shuffle and draw five. Okay, Elgin, where are you at? Okay, there he is. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. Okay, but we do have two dolls. 
Yeah, we're just gonna smack two dolls. You never know. Yeah, he's gonna get out of the item lock, which is the bad thing about this. So he can go for gusting effects and maybe knock out a Chinchino, which is definitely not a good idea in my case. Okay, Chin all, all terrible cards at this point. We need to find Elgins. I think they're all of them and all of them are in the deck. <laughs> the Shrine is there, so he cannot use Electro Wheel at this point, which is fine. Okay, or Corio? Hello? What is this list? And I thought I was playing a rogue deck. Okay, two more Pecos. Does he have any items left? Okay, no, the Shrine is just gonna destroy that Oracorio. Very funny, okay. Smacking this down, we actually need two of them at the same time. At this point, because he can gust one, okay. Nope, still not. Oh yeah, we can actually make sure we draw in one thanks to the uh, getting this, getting that. Maybe a Mew? Nah, Mew is not necessary at this point. Yeah, we're just gonna get uh, all of them. How many energies? Okay, all of the triple accelerated stuff is there. We could could have used Gumi, retreated to the Gumi, but at this point I'm just gonna smack these two down and we can use Gumi later. So at this point, I'm just fine. We could use another Make Do actually. We're just gonna wait. He could actually reset stamp us with that low hand size. We just need to wait with the make do until we are ready. Okay, knock out a doll, man, or knock out an Elgin. It all depends on what the opponent decides to do. Okay. The opponent has a huge amount of hands. He has access to trainer cards. So things like Pokemon Catcher can be a, t a huge deal here. Okay, more Paco V Max. Dishing out 20 damage to each of the bench Pokemon. Oh! Oh boy, that is not, that's nasty. That is very nasty. Okay, we're gonna have to play this really cleverly. We're gonna need a Mew in this play, so he's not gonna take any prize cards. We promote that, bench down a Mew. I think we're still fine. More Paco V Max. We do get three prize cards for that, and uh, he's gonna actually attach all of the energies to this, which will save us some room. If he uses, okay, the reset stamp, I saw that coming. So make do was irrelevant, okay. We have no triple accelerated energy. Ooh, things are getting a little bit scary. We need Mew. We have a Mew thanks to the treasure. We have... Oh boy. He got rid of Crustum Catcher. Okay, that's one of them. He still has access to two Crustum. Voltner. Okay, he can custom catch an Elgem. Okay, and smack 20 damage to all the rest. Okay, this is gonna be nasty. Elgem. Or Chichino. Oh yeah, it's an Elgem. Fine, we have another one in the hand. Max Discharge, okay, this is something you want to prevent here. That 20 damage on everything, and that's why Mew is in the list. I'm actually gonna promote a little Spokedel because we need to put one back in the deck. Oh boy. That was actually nasty. Okay, we have our entire setup. So here we have him. Triple Accelerated Energy over there. Need this as well. Ah, oh, this is sad. Okay, we're gonna use the Make Do, number one. I'm gonna get rid of the treasure, I know. Okay, we get Air Balloon. Okay, not what I actually want. Hmm. Make do again, getting rid of the Air Balloon. Alright, what do we have? <laughs> Mew, okay, this is good. This is actually everything I ever wanted. So, uh, we smack this down. Lit his Pokedoll back on the bottom of the deck. We promote Behem. Smack down, Mew. And here you go, Mysterious Noise again, 90 damage. And Lily Spoke it all, will have to do the trick at this point. <sighs> okay, the Shrine will take in some damage, we still have a couple of turns left. He's in an item lock, he still takes zero prize cards, still needs to take four more prize cards, I wonder. He's setting up another more pack, oh, I only think he has one uh, VMAX. Drawing so many cards, will he have Gusting? He still needs, well played? <laughs> yeah, he concedes. Okay, all of his gusting was gone. He was in an item lock. Uh, I think this is fine. Okay, Behem takes the victory against another rogue deck with dolls. So, uh, so glad I'm able to showcase the true power of an item lock deck. And uh, now we're up against Malamar, or I guess, or Mewtwo. Malamar or Mewtwo, if I had to guess, it's Malamar. Against Malamar, I don't know. We can... Uh... Yeah, also a thing I was thinking about is that putting Kabutops in this list, but that's a stage two, or also Upstagoon. So if you can set up an Upstagoon, you can promote that. Uh, also, our Mr. Mime will be <laughs> punished in this scenario. We do have an Air Balloon, so at least we have that going for us, but this is not good. Life Trick, heal all damage from this Pokemon, okay? At least we can uh, 
For each card in your opponent's hand, okay, no. We don't have a psychic energy in our uh, list, so starting with Mr. Mime is the most terrible thing ever. The opponent will say, like, what is this? Oh, wow, it's Zacian. Hello. Okay. We have actually a good hand. I have to say that. Okay, communication first. Putting this in the deck. We all always want to get ourselves ditto, so we have the options to do everything we please. Uh, this is not a tag team, so a little Persian is irrelevant, a little Nitus is irrelevant. I think we're just gonna have to go with Behem and maybe our good friend Gumi. Okay, get this out. Here's a threat. You get rid of this. We also get out Elgin. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I wonder if he's gonna be able to attack at any point in the game. Will he smack so much damage? We're gonna have to wait and see. So we already have L Gem and a Ditto. At least that's good for us. We can get uh, some more Pokemon with Elm's Lecture. Maybe we should have saved that Tate and Liza now that I think about it. Although, if we can uh, find some stuff like, uh, let's say, another supporter, a Poke Gear, anything for that matter, we will thin out the deck with El uh, Elm's Lecture anyhow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, now that I think about it, should have saved the Tate and Liza. Sometimes it's uh, a little bit difficult. Okay, Interpret Sword. Okay, this is a mill deck. Ooh, I think. So, Elm's Lecture, finding ourselves Minchino. Minchino. Yeah, the Gumi will help out in this scenario. Although, we do see uh, Lieutenant Surge, so this is probably a mill deck. Okay. What to do about mill decks? Just get a Gumi up in there. Mm hmm. Another Elgin. Yeah, this is fine. Ta da! Ta -ta. Okay, Mr. Mime is actually good for now. We can uh, just wait it out. I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, all these cards in the discard pile, he doesn't need that anyhow. We need to put him in an item lock as quickly as possible, and then he, that means he can no longer rely on... Hmm. Palpat, yeah, that's the one. Two Chinchinos, I wish we had that. Will he use Belelbos and Bryson Lands? He already has like this in the active position, which we have to tree shell actually. So I don't know if we're having a good matchup against that. We could promote like Gumi at one point, but we need Gumi Air Balloon. We need to find another Air Balloon in order for us to promote Gumi. Okay, Great Ball. Chinchino. We have the triple accelerate energy. So uh, as soon as we have something like a treasure, communication, supporter, we need like something like, like a research. Okay. Crushing Hammer go away. Lieutenant Surge goes uh, back in the hand. He has a huge hand. They're lucky for us, we do have a reset stamp. Also, we want to make sure that he doesn't promote so many dolls. That's also a good thing. If we can make sure he's in an item lock, the dolls will no longer go, go in play. Okay. Let's see. Two Chinchinos, hopefully. We're still drawing so many cards. It's insane. Okay, Interpret Sword. So he's getting himself ready to spam Balalba and Bryson Man. I don't know if we have a great matchup against that. Okay, we have a treasure. So at least we have that. Let's get rid of the Alolan. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Be here. Yeah, hopefully he will be in an item lock <laughs> for long enough. Mysterious noise. Okay, we don't get a prize card, we know that. Still gonna promote our Mr. Mime once again. He could fob away the air balloon, which will make himself like cry in a corner. <laughs> but now he's item locked, so no longer he's able to play down any search cards like Great Ball, Quick Ball. No Lily's Poke Dolls, no Palpats. He can use Make Do, Make Do, and Interpret Sword though. Okay, he's just gonna retreat to Minchino. Make, do some make do's probably okay we need actually research so we can get this stuff rolling I actually should have saved that Tate and Liza but we already won against one deck it's fine we're just making uh, decks as we go along day by day and uh, I'm actually
actually proud of the Behemoth deck we got up. If, we, if this was like Zacian ADP, our Mr. Mime would be OP. <laughs> He's not able to do anything about this. Even with the Shrine damage, if he will smack 260 damage, we block that. So that's gonna be insane. Okay, Interpret Sword. Come on, give us a supporter. Or a Chinchino. Okay, Quick Ball. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually going to... We do have Ordinary Rod. Mm. Tinning out the deck. Tinning out the deck. Gumi is actually so busted. Gumi is so busted. Do we use Quick Ball at this point? Hmm. He's gonna tin out the deck for us with Belalvas, anyhow, so. Yeah. We need Gumi. Gumi is our savior for, of course, that Oranguru. And if you're slow against a mill deck, we are definitely gonna feel that. So two Lily Spokegirls, really. <sighs> that means no space for Oranguru, okay. Friend Ball is gonna be able to search out Oranguru immediately. Mew, okay, fine. Make do? Maybe he will deck out. As if we get him in an item lock and he has a low... He cannot get stuff back. We need to put Gumi in the active position and use the item lock correctly. Then we are gonna be in a good position. Hopefully next time we draw something like a research. Since young Catelyn, he gets everything back. Why is he not using Belaldos? Maybe they're priced. They could be priced. Acrobike as well. I still have hope because we didn't take any prize cards just yet and he cannot activate Lieutenant Search so we only need to put him in an item lock so he cannot use Spell Pad and at this point if we promote Gumi he's gonna be uh, <laughs> decked out of, uh, from himself, okay. Communication, well, yeah we can use communication for our good friend Chinchino so we actually draw some cards finally. Here we go, drawing cards, hopefully a research. We can still hope, right? Make do. Okay, the research is here. Shrine, do we smack it down? Might as well smack down the shrine. Oh, we're gonna actually uh, destroy our Mr. Mind, which is good because that means the opponent will not able to rely on a, not able to rely on a Lieutenant search. Okay, fine. A little Persian, special energies. All effects of attacks, including damage done to this Poké. Okay, this will not help out. We have Behem. The Poké Gears will find ourselves another supporter. I think we just have to wait it out. We need to find, hopefully find our uh, little friend Gumi. I actually should have retreated. I'm scared of the Faba right now. <laughs> should have retreated to Behem already. Okay, he's just drawing all the cards of his deck. We still have not taken any prize cards. We just need to put him in an item lock at one point. Acrobike. I think all of his Belalbas are prized. I don't know what he's up to. Or maybe he's saving them to use a, a strange sort of combo. <laughs> also, our Mr. Mime will uh, see the discard pile in 14 turns. Or actually, 7 turns in total. If uh, we uh, pass 7 turns, it's uh, gonna be knocked out. One from the opponents between turns and one from us, so... Okay, he only has one card left in the deck. It's time for Oranguru and Palpat action. I think. Hopefully we'll be able to find our Gumi or Ordinary Rod if it's uh, being discarded. Let's say all of his Balalbas are prized. That would be insane. Like uh, TCG online shuffles. Mr. Mime looking at the opponent like, yeah, nothing going on here. We can also heal all the damage from this Pokemon. So, <laughs> but we don't. Uh, we only have triple accelerated energies. It wouldn't matter anyhow. Lots of dolls irrelevant in this matchup. Hopefully with Pokegear, finding ourselves uh, Cynthia. <laughs> if we have Copycat, that would be insane. We draw so many cards with that. Okay. What is he gonna do? All the hammers are in the discard. Okay, he's just passing. What? Okay, we find ourselves our good friend Gumi. Gumi is getting into place. Gumi... It's time for you to shine, although, yeah, we need Gumi, although using... Eh, I'm gonna get Gumi, we only have one. The rest of them we have multiples of. Okay, let's smack this so he cannot use resource management. Gonna get rid of a doll. Come on, triple accelerated energies, where are you? Pokegear. 
Okay, research. I know it's gonna seem crazy, but we are gonna research at this point because we need to find triple salarate energy to put the opponent in an item lock. All right, there we go. And even an L gem smacking this down as well. Don't need to use overuse uh, the make do's at this point. Retreat, although if he discards the triple salarate energy with Balalbas and Bryson Mans, that's gonna be sad. It's gonna be so sad. Oh, I just gonna have to hope. Mysterious noise. Yeah. He's in an item lock. He is not able to play down. Hmm. Yeah, not able to use a Ranguru. I'm just gonna make him deck out. How about that? Little Gumi. Little Gumi doing the trick. It has an air balloon. I think we have one air balloon left in the back. Even one Tate and Liza as well. Okay. I think. Do we only play one? I should have to recheck. Play this deck from scratch, so I don't even know at this point. Okay, Mr. Mime still receiving damage. He's in an item lock. No more dolls, no more palpats, no more orangaroos. Will not help out. We have Gumi. Lieutenant Surge strategy. Okay. Bella Bell Bryson, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be funny because he's in an idol lock. Okay, Bellabell Bell, Bryceman. Where are the triple accelerated energies with that? Two of them! Insane! Okay, the Lily Spooky Dolls will help him out. Oh, insane. He's, he can do that twice. He is not able to use a resource management though. Oh, he got rid of two triple accelerated energies. If there's some of them priced, that would be, that would be insane. Okay. Chew. Okay. I'm gonna use treasure. Getting rid of a doll. <clears throat> Although Doll could be sw swept back in the deck. Okay. Two triple accelerated energies. Fine. Fine. We need them desperately. So. We need them desperately. Okay. To deck the opponent out. He can still use research management afterwards, which is the bad thing. He could just attach at the turn and he's gonna be done for. Ah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it. Make do, get rid of the Mew. Come on, triple accelerator energy. Ah, that's not what we wanted. Actually gonna have to use LM's lecture. Nope, not gonna work out. Come on, triple accelerator energy. Make yourself known to the world, come on. Okay, this is sad. We don't have anything to work with. Oh, this is so sad. If we have another item lock, now he can spam his spell pass and we are done for. But we still had a little chance here. It's too bad that he uh, discarded so many triple accelerated energies with that Belalba and Bryson Man combo. Yeah, here come the spell pads. And I think there's nothing we can do about that. Nothing we can do about that. He still has to attach to his Orangaroo. Make do, drawing both of them. And he can, if he has an energy, he can simply attach and search and then use research management okay blah blah, blah bryson man no triple accelerated energies come on man no 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 okay all of them are still in there that's insane okay he can attach use the one and only research management for game and even pal pad so i think this is game well played there's nothing we can do about that we want to uh, prevent the pal pads from working out but it didn't and now we just need to use another pal pad for the Bella Bell and Bryson Mans and we're done for. Okay, research management. Gumi helped us save a little bit of time, but it didn't work out. We needed that item lock at the specific turn. We whiffed on the triple accelerator energies, but it is it was very fun to play with this deck. Hopefully you guys had a blast as well. Try this list out for yourself. Okay, ordinary rod. Okay. <laughs> we need to find Hmm, triple accelerated energy will not matter. He's just gonna draw and deck us out. We're actually gonna deck us out in style. Look at this. He's not gonna banal bomb Bryson man us. Here you go, copycat. <laughs> we draw all the cards. Here you have the triple accelerated energy. We're gonna go out in style, as we always do. And we're gonna just, uh, yeah, well, well played. And here we go, serious noise. Yeah, fight against Mr. Mime. Mm, here you go. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And while we just uh, 
watch Mr. Mime finish the game by just passing. Come on, opponent, just pass. If you don't, I will concede. Ah, it's all up to you. Come on, man. What are you gonna do? Yeah, why is he below on Bryson, man? Still, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, my, um, uh, but he didn't jump back in the deck. Anyhow, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.